live from the Radisson in Kalamazoo, where I'm the kickoff speaker for the MAC 12th Annual Conference, is a honey badger verse of the day. And it's a gem of a verse. It's Psalms 126.1. When the Lord brought us out of captivity, we were like men who dreamed. And a lot of times when we're in captivity, a lot of times when we feel far from God or the situations in our life seem impossible, we stop dreaming. Sometimes we feel like the dream has died when we've gone through a desert or gone through a captivity time. And in my life, my captivity time when I felt far from God was 2006. I was working part-time for a moving company and all the dreams that God put in my heart seemed far away. And I knew that God had spoken me, to me to speak to the multitudes, to be a minister of the gospel. And during this season, I sought God. And in April 2008, God spoke to me and gave me a plan and said, you're going to speak to many people. You're going to bring the gospel. You're going to do amazing things. And I'm going to bring you out of this season and you're going to be stronger, which I was. And the things he told me to do were seven things. Number one, have eye contact. I had to work years to have eye contact, having autism. Number two, filter what I'd say. I was like Trump on Twitter. Whatever idea came in my mind, I spewed it out. Number three, say words of compassion and kindness. Number four, have inflection in your voice. I learned to have inflection when I talk. Number five, work on saying TH and L words. I used to not be able to do that. And the Holy Spirit put these things on my heart. And then the sixth one was this, pray. Seek the Lord and he'll give you the timing when it's time for you to speak and he'll show you how to share his message. And then number seven was work on people skills. And that was the hardest one for me. God brought a, brought a mentor my way who helped me develop those. And when I came out of this season, I started speaking to thousands of people. I started being able to share my message of autism. And God's opened up even doors like today to be the kickoff speaker in a major conference. I've been able to speak to over 250,000 people live since 2015. And I want to end on this thought. Ephesians 3.20 says this, Now two moves able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. And I want you in the comments below, share a time that God did something amazing in your life. Share a testimony that you have of the goodness and love of the Lord. And I can testify today, as I speak today, that God's opened up doors I never thought possible. I went from having very little communication skills, even stuttering when I spoke, to now speaking to thousands of people by the grace of God. Zechariah 4, 6 says, Not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty.